Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this 2021 GMC Sierra 3500 Denali. This one has a good amount of packages. It has the 6.6 .6 Duramax uh, diesel engine, and it does have the Denali Black Diamond Edition and the Denali Ultimate package. So let me go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood, they're going to be a 6.6 .6 turbo diesel V8 that is connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 445 horses and 910 pound-feet of torque, and there is no EPA uh, estimate or MPG numbers since this is a commercial truck. Here is the sticker price of this 2021 3500. It does have the Duramax turbo diesel. It's a $9,000 option, almost $10,000. It does have the Denali Black Diamond Edition and it does have the Denali Ultimate Package and a few other uh, things. And the price on this one is 84000 If you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Ebony Twilight Metallic and it looks very good on this Denali trim. It is a black color and I think it looks very good. This one is the Denali trim so it's going to have a ton of chrome on it and just the front end of this Denali it looks very very scary and this thing is massive in person for the headlights everything is LED even the turn signal indicators are LED which is expected from a, an $84,000 truck and right here on the side it does say HD which is pretty cool and as I said everything is LED for the fog lights, the fog lights are LED and the surrounding trim of the fog lights are chrome. Here is the grill. The grill is massive, it is finished in chrome and the whole truck is actually massive. This thing is very big and there's going to be some functional vent. The lines on the hood, they are very aggressive and you can see those lines sitting in the driver and passenger seat. GMC logo is massive and they're going to be a front facing camera and there are going to be some parking sensors on the front bumper chrome in the bottom and they're going to be chrome hooks in the front there's two of them and overall I think this thing just looks very very nice Here's the side view of this 3500 Denali and honestly this thing is massive but I really like this black and black look. I think it looks sick and uh, by the way those rims are part of the Denali Black Diamond Edition and the size of those rims they are 275, 65, 20s and honestly those rims look very small if you compare it to the size of this huge truck. On the fender they're going to be a badge that says Duramax 6.6 .6 Allison Transmission. Denali HD badge on the front door and they're going to be a good amount of chrome around the windows and the door handles and on the mirrors and by the way this one has power side step some lights on the mirrors and it does have a turn signal indicator on the mirror and uh, overall I think the design of this Denali looks very good and they're going to be some side markers right there here is the back of this Denali and tail lights have a really nice look to them they're nice and blacked out Everything is LED right here in the back. I think except the reverse lights, I really can't see. I tried to see if they are LED or not, but it's honestly very hard to be able to tell. And I don't have my tripod on me. But I think they are halogen. Everything is LED beside those reverse lights. Sierra badge is going to be all the way to the right. Denali is going to be right underneath that GMC logo. And that GMC logo is huge. This one has the Multi Pro tailgate. It's a $200 option. I really wish it was standard on the Denali trim. There's going to be a camera right here. Those two buttons will control or will open the tailgate. Um, you could open the whole thing or you could just open the top portion. I'll go ahead and show you that in a bit. There are going to be parking sensors on the bumper. Here is the tow hitch or the hitch receiver. And they're going to be the pink connectors right here. 
here is that spare tire release and underneath there's going to be a massive exhaust pipe and next to it is going to be the spare tire here is the key of this Denali feels nice and solid does have GMC written in the back some chrome on the side and there are going to be five buttons on this key lock unlock remote start tailgate release and e panic button to remote start the truck just go ahead and lock it once and then hold the remote start button and to open the tailgate you could open the tailgate two different ways you could open it actually three different ways there's one inside one on the tailgate and one on the key just go ahead and double click on it and it will open the tailgate to open the top portion of the tailgate it's going to be this top button and the other button is going to be for the whole tailgate drops down like that you could use it as a table and you could do something else too you could actually lift this up for whatever you need and they're going to be the bottom button So probably I have to close the top one. I'm not exactly sure why I have to close the top one then to be able to open the whole thing. It would have been nice if I was able to drop the the whole thing while this top portion right here was down. But I'm pretty sure I could drop this now. There we go. And click this button. and it will make it much much easier to get inside uh, the bed of this uh, Denali by the way there are going to be some bed steps and I'm not sure if I mentioned but they're going to be side bed steps to be able to access the bed very quick they're going to be a place where to put your hand to be able to basically uh, jump or to like to hold onto and right here they're going to be a USB which is pretty cool and they're going to be an aux and I believe this is a light if I'm not mistaken and they're going to be um, a few buttons right here I think this is for uh, the sound system that this uh, Denali has so that's nice and I really like the multi pro tailgate design inside there is a ton of space this one has the gooseneck I believe it's a $550 option and they're going to be a good amount of tie downs around the bed of this Denali. Some LED lights right here, an AC outlet. And they're going to be some pin connectors right here. Another light and they're going to be a handle right here. This will make it much easier to get inside and outside the bed of this Denali. Here is a front door panel, it looks pretty good. This top portion right here is nice and soft. It's that synthetic rubber material. The armrest is nice and soft. And even the side of the armrest is nice and soft. I love that wooden trim, brushed aluminum or chrome. Windows, the front two windows are automatic. The back ones are not automatic. For 84,000, I think everything should have been automatic. It does have a button to extend the mirrors, one to fold, and uh, does have memory seats, door locks, the door handle feels a little bit on the lighter side. Bottom is plastic, which is expected. And there's going to be a good amount of storage in the bottom of this door, both sound system. Here are the seats. They do have lumbar support, seat controls, and the seats are nice and comfortable. The Nally on the headrest. And I think the design of the seats are nothing crazy, but I just love the fact they're nice and comfortable. Let's go to move inside this Denali and I'll go and show you the interior of it. All right, so here is the interior of this 2021 3500 Denali. Interior is nice and spacious and the seats are nice and comfortable and seeing out of this Denali is very easy but this thing is seriously massive the hood is nice and aggressive mirrors are huge which is expected for a 3500 and uh, by the way those mirrors do get extended so let me go ahead and show you and you could fold them as well
and they do have two LED lights, one right here and one right uh, in the back where the turn signal indicators are. And seriously, this thing is very nice and spacious. Here is a steering wheel. It is wrapped in leather. The ring itself is a little bit on the thinner side, but that's completely fine. The design overall, I think, is pretty good. It does have Denali right here, some chrome around it. And this trim actually looks very good. I really like what GMC did right here on the steering wheel. On the left, they're going to be the cruise controls, heated steering wheel. This button right here is to set distance or like to change the distance between the car uh, in front of you. So you could adjust the gap. And right behind the steering wheel, they're going to be the turn signal controls, wiper controls, and uh, the low and high beam. On the right, they're going to be the column shifter that will control the 10 speed automatic transmission. It does have plus and minus. You could control the gears. Here are the gauges. They look very good. And right here on the right, those will control, those controls will control the screen in the middle. You could go up and down. You could go left and right. Super easy. There is a ton of information right there in that middle screen. And then you'll have your phone controls right here. Gauges look very good. They're easy to read and understand. And right here on the left, there are going to be a good amount of buttons. And then you will have the heads up display. Uh, controls you could raise up the heads up display you could lower the brightness if you want to and here is the mode selector so there is normal and there is off-road you'll have auto four high four low two high and then few buttons right here you'll have the brightness controls cargo lights this button will turn on the light right behind this uh, the uh, mirror where the turn signal indicators are fog light control this button and then you will have the headlight controls and I really like this brushed aluminum right here around the piece, uh, around the vent and the uh, buttons. Here is the screen. It's an eight inch screen that looks very good. Resolution is very good, nice and clear. And GMC system is very smooth and responsive, but the screen is very small. There is a good amount of storage place right here. But coming back to the screen, it is very small for a huge truck. Um, they're going to be changing uh, the uh, Sierras uh, for 2022. Uh, I've seen some things on uh, line saying that they're going to be bringing the uh, screens from the Yukons, the 10.2 inch screens into the uh, Sierras. And I think they look much, much better uh, for a truck. Eight inches is not enough. So let me go ahead and show you the backup camera. It does have the 360 view. You could see the front, you could see the surrounding of the truck, and you could see the rims, and you could see the front rims. So if I turn the wheel, you guys will be able to see the tires, and you could see the front, the back. So there is a ton of uh, views, and the quality of the cameras are very, very good. Volume knob, a two knob, you could control the screen uh, two different ways you could touch it or you could actually use this to go to places it does have wireless apple carplay and android auto and you could actually control the climates from this screen so that's nice home button right here another home button right here climate controls are very easy to use you will have an auto function a sync function here is the fan speed off and on and it does have the modes around it and this Denali has cold seats, three stages, heated seats, three stages each. And there are going to be a ton of binds right here. This bind right here is going to be for the exhaust, uh, the uh, exhaust brake, link keep assist, parking sensors. They're going to be a bind for the tailgate release, emergency light bind, traction control, AC outlet button to turn on this outlet descent and this last button right here is going to be for the side steps the trailer brake USB-C USB a 12 volt and they're going to be that AC outlet uh, I talked about and right here they're going to be a wireless phone charger a little bit more storage place right there and right here they're going to be more storage place on the side of the middle console I love the brushed aluminum with that wood trim. Two cup holders, a good amount of storage place in the middle. 
and I love the brushed aluminum. I think it just gives a really nice look. And here is the armrest. It's nice and soft. A place to put your phone. Two cup holders in the back and this one does have the Volt. I think it's a $200 option if I'm not mistaken. I'll correct that if I'm wrong. One light and they're going to be aux, USB, USB-C and an SD card. And let me see if I could open this. Yep, it's unlocked. Here is the Volt or here's what's inside the Volt. And of course you could set your passcode and uh, you could uh, lock it if you want to. Let's say if you have a gun or have something inside, um, you could set a passcode so no one opens it. Here is a rear view mirror. It's a little bit on the smaller side if you compare it to the size of this truck. And by the way, it is frameless, but there's a really cool feature where if you do this, there's going to be a camera right where the third brake light is that will display what's right behind you. Let's say if you have a ton of things in the back seat and you can't see out of those windows, then uh, this becomes very helpful and by the way right underneath it they're going to be a few buttons to control the this button right here to control the brightness and uh, let's see if I could click this one more time if I could zoom in zoom out and you could go up and down so there is a good amount of adjustments up here they're going to be the garage controls it does have a sunroof by the way and it does have a back window so you could open the back window led lights which is expected of course for an eighty-four thousand dollar truck and they're going to be a few buttons right here sos onstar and as i said the garage controls let's go ahead and open the sunroof standard size sunroof and to tilt it there is another button right here on the right and it does have this window right here in the back and for the visor it's a little bit on the skinnier side it is finished in the same material as the headliner and inside the mirror is nice and big and it does have some LED lights for the back door panel it is the same as the front the stop portion right here is nice and soft armrest is the same as the front this is soft as well that wooden trim brushed aluminum window switch the door handle feels the same as the front it's a little bit heavier though so i really like the back one better than the front one this is plastic plastic which is expected good amount of storage place for the back door and here are the seats a ton of leg room and a ton of headroom which is expected from a full-size uh, pickup truck they do have the storage place right here and under the seats they're going to be more storage place and I believe this is part of a package let me go ahead and open this for you guys so you guys can see what's inside there is just a ton of space right underneath in that storage box and I really like that I believe it's a 200 or 300 dollar option I'll correct that if I'm wrong this one has a ton of packages so I really can't keep track of uh, how much uh, those uh, things are but they're going to be AC vents in the back one USB one USB-C heated seats 12 volt and they're going to be two cup holders here in the back I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2021 3500 Denali if you guys are around and if you guys are interested make sure to come and see Luke here at Buick GMC in Wallingford and I'm gonna go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this please subscribe and as always I'll see you next time